Reads, Murphy Gray Hunter. And it is, what is today, Friday, March 22nd. It's about 4.45 in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. I'm having a snow cone. This is a wedding cake. It's like 80 degrees here, so it's so nice. Let me show y'all. I have a few things to show y'all. So I was up in the off in my office the other day and I realized I had two bags of stuff there. And I remember I made a video showing you guys, but there was something jacked up about the video and I never posted it. And I was like, why is this stuff still up here? So anyway, I have some more things upstairs. So I have stuff from the dollar store. I have some, I have something that my coven sister sent me. Then I have some stuff that my sister gave me for Christmas. I just got from her from early March. We went and had lunch and we exchanged our Christmas presents because I've seen her since then, but I had seen her at her job. So I obviously didn't take her presents and she didn't bring mine. So uh, we decided to go eat lunch and exchange gifts. So I have those upstairs. Oh my God, that is a fire smoke alarm thing, my jiggy. I bought the battery because it started beeping. And when I went up there to change it, it wasn't beeping. And we have 20, 20 something in here in the house. 25, I wanna say 25 or 26. I, no joke, we have that many in the house. Why do we have that many? Okay, let me tell you. When we bought the house, it came with um, smoke alarms, right? So um, there are there's smoke alarms inside the room outside the room like if this is the the wall there's one right here and one right here okay so <clears throat> there's one like that like in when before ugh, i can't even speak blah 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 in every room so there's like two four six eight ten okay that's with what came with the house then when um when adt came out here to put our home security up, I wanted extra smoke alarms because the smoke alarms that came with the house, they will beep and let you know there is a fire. But that's it. The ADT ones, when that shit goes off, it is so loud and they call you within like 30 seconds, they call you. And they're like, you know, they call your house phone, they call your cell phone. If you don't answer your house and you don't answer your cell phone, they will send the fire department or the police, whichever thing goes off. And so um, I, I am definitely afraid of fire. I never became afraid of fire until we owned our own house, okay? I think maybe I have been traumatized by all of the shit that's been happening to the house. And when you're a homeowner, um, <laughs> your problem now right so i i don't know i think that and the fact that we live so far out that by the time somebody sees there's a fire it'll be <laughs> you know too late um because farmers out here burn um like trees and stuff like when they're trimming stuff um they're trimming the trees or bushes or whatever whatever they have or trash or whatever they burn it on their property so sometimes you will just see like smoke come in different places, but they are fires that these farmers have on their land. Um, I know we're like, what? But anyway, so um, I'm just, I'm just always afraid of fires. And I, and, and I use a lot of candles and I wanna make sure that, you know, I never go to sleep with a candle on and I never leave the house with a candle on, but I still want extra safety. And so Derek knows I'm definitely afraid of, well, shit, I'm afraid of everything, just about. <laughs> I have so many phobias, but I am afraid of fire. So anyway, the whole purpose of that story was because we got an extra, an extra alarm outside each bedroom. So that's an extra five. So that's 15, no, did I say, what did I say? Two, four, six, eight, 10. Yeah, that's 10. Um, and that's 15 with the five extra. And then the other, there's other ones like right here. There's one here. 
that's 21. There's another one right there, that's 22. And then upstairs, there's three. I know. Well, one in my husband's man cave, so that's 24. And then there's two here in the man, I mean, in the, the catwalk. So what's 24, 25? That's 25. Unless there's any other ones that I don't know about. But yeah, there's 25. So when that thing went off, I'm like, you just hear like, our house is open. So did y'all just hear it? The house is open. So when it beeps, I'm just like, I'm walking around the house with a battery. Like, which one is it? So when I'm done here, I'm going to go hunt it down and find out which one it is and put that battery in there. And you guys know I'm afraid of heights too. So standing on a chair makes me woozy. My husband's like, God damn, it's a good thing you're short. So when you fall, you don't have long ways to fall. I'm like, well, great. So I'm only five foot tall. So, I mean, it's still falling. When I'm vacuuming upstairs, I can't look over the rail because I start feeling like I had like, you know, a whole thing of vodka and I'm all like, woohoo. Yeah, it's too much for me. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just weird out like that. I have so many phobias. Ooh, okay, we'll do that. All right, why was I telling you all that? Oh, because of the noise. So off. Okay, so, <laughs> um, I'm gonna shoot this video down here and then I'm gonna stop it and I'm gonna go upstairs to the, um, to the back cave. Where is my brain? The, um, my office. And I'm going to show y'all the other stuff I have. So I have something from um, my sister and then of course, uh, I bought some stuff from Sephora. And then I have, um, I bought a book from, I think I bought, I think I have two books that I bought from Half Price, Half Price Books. And then I have another book that I bought from Sam's Club. Yeah, because that was part of the the, the Majiga and I didn't show y'all. Okay, so let me show y'all first what my coven sister sent me. My coven sister Christine sent me this owl that I have outside. And it's, it's one of those that you stick into the ground like with one of these things, right? It's on it. Yeah, it came with one of these. So you stick it into the ground and attached to the top part um, is a little owl and it has solar panels. So when it gets dark, the eyes and the body lights up and it stays lit up from eight to 10 hours. So that's in the front landscape area. So she sent me these two little solar panel lanterns. I call them lanterns, but I know they're, my daughter says lan lanterns. Lanterns, I say lanterns, I know. But anyway, let me show you. Oh, my face is so itchy. All right. It has cute little owls. So see, we're sticking with the whole theme. So cute, right? And here's the solar panel thing. So cute. I freaking love it. So I was gonna have my husband climb up the tree you need to climb that tree and put up my stuff. But um, I don't think I'm gonna put them in the tree. I think I'm going to buy some of these. I bought this short one for something else I'm gonna show y'all. But I'm gonna buy the long ones because I, I have a long one out there that I have a um, hummingbird feeder off of. So I'm gonna put another big one like that out there and I'm going to hang these. I'm gonna get two big black ones and hang that. Oh, so cute. And I'll put them in my front landscape area. So adorable. Christine just really spoils me so rotten. They're so cute. I just love them. Okay. Mm. All right. And then the next thing she sent me, oh my gosh, guys. Look at this cat. It's mischievous cat. He's eating all the gnomes. <laughs> He's like, yum, 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 yum. Isn't he adorable? Look at that face. I gotcha. Look how cute he's got him in his paws. And one down here. Oh my God, if they don't stop calling me out about a stupid, st stupid, um, I can't even talk. Um, must say car loan, uh, school loan. I don't have a school loan. So I'm like, well, somebody with your name and social security has it like oh god damn <laughs> did I at least do i at least get one of the copies of the um 
degrees that I have to pay for this school loan. <laughs> but no. Anyway, so look. So adorable, right? So cute. I was going to put him outside, but I'm like, no, because he'll get ruined outside. So, you guys probably don't know this, but throughout my house, I have gnomes, like, all throughout the house. I have two big gnomes that are in my breakfast area, and then, like, um, around the house. Mm -hmm. mm. So good. Sorry, guys, I don't like to eat on camera. I'm not a mukbanger. Okay. <laughs> um, throughout the house, I have little gnomes, little figurines. I have them just kind of scattered throughout the house. Like over here, like where my plants are, you'll see them. On my windowsills, you'll see them along with all my little fairy things, right? Because it's all throughout the house, top floor and, and bottom floor. And the top floor, in Derek's man cave, the only thing that I have, the only thing that I'm allowed to put in there is the fairy door. I have a fairy door. Those of you who work with Faye know that um, when you invite them into your house, you have to have an entrance and an exit. They don't use the doors, but it's just, it's too long to go into. But basically, you gotta have two, two doors. So I have one here, and then I have one in the back. So he, he's okay with that. Um, but I wanna put like little fairy things around there. Cause on this fairy door, I have little fairies and little gnomes and then I have um, crystals. I think I'm gonna do that before he comes home. And then I'm like, mm, it's just there. And so I think I can have the window sill. <laughs> he, like he doesn't care what I do to the house, but don't touch his man cave. Like, you know, don't decorate it, like clean it, but don't decorate it, which is fine. I have the whole house. I can't be stingy or greedy. Okay, you can have one room, but no. Um, okay, let me stop that. Um, but anyway, I have gnomes all throughout the house. I have them up here. I don't know if you're gonna see, like in my kitchen area, right up here on the top. I have a bunch of little. I'm gonna show y'all here in a minute. Um, I have like little things up there. So this is super cute. I think I'm gonna put him. Oh, I don't know where I'm gonna put him, but he's so adorable. I love it. And then it came with this. Now, I have one female um, <laughs> Brewster. <laughs> I have one female gnome, but she's a she's a big one. She's about this height. And she's in my breakfast area, but I don't have any little ones. No little mamas, and she's holding a little rolling pin. So cute, right? So she comes with this thing. Um, it's, it says customer first store by Mark and Margaret. So maybe that's Margaret, but look how cute. You can get uh, the little kitties and then, or they have that one little dog, I think, what is that, a beagle? Is that a, the name of the dog, beagle? But look how cute, oh, so cute. Um, and so, um, I'm trying to think, they have here, if you want to order any of these, um, their their email is 16108store at gmail.com or you can call them at 844-461-6108. And so that's mischievouscat.com slash VIP club. In case you're interested. They're just so adorable. So it has here, um, they're weatherproof, is what it says here. Um, perfect gift, he's nine and a half feet tall. He's got a cute little pink no nose, a granny gnome. Oh, she's the granny gnome. Fluffy tail, high quality. But look at the box it came in. <laughs> it's so cute, right? Stop making cute, cute trash like this. How am I gonna throw this in the trash? I'm gonna throw this cute box in the trash. It's so cute. It's so cute. Okay. So she sent me that. Put Granny over there. Okay, that's what she sent me. And she just sent it just because 
like because she loves me and I'm like, oh my god that's so sweet then I went to the dollar store I went to the dollar store to get an iTunes card and I came out of there with 103 worth of stuff my daughter goes 103 dollars she goes this is a dollar store I'm like well dollar general <laughs> but mm, I, I keep saying I'm not gonna eat that anymore sorry um I bought a uh, $25 uh, gift card, I mean gift card, iTunes card, because uh, I'm going to buy the Aquaman, uh, the Aquaman movie on my phone. You guys know I'm obsessed. I got to. I have to. I have to do this. And it'll be on my iPad and on my phone. So whenever I need a little pick-me-up and I need a little Jason, I can just turn it on and watch it. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I'm going to buy the DVD when it comes out on Tuesday. I'll be like, um, excuse me. Are y'all open yet? I really need that DVD. <laughs> I know. There's something wrong with me. Something wrong. All right. And then Jay got an iTunes card for whatever she wants. Okay. So I got this. This was $3. Um, I put these outside and I'm going to post a picture at the very end. So y'all can see what I did with one of the little campers that I bought. If you're friends on my Facebook, you probably already saw the picture. Um, out of my landscape area and in front of my trees, I always do this every spring. I put little little fairy houses and you know little cute things out there. Now the fairy houses are in good shape, but they are they need to be touched up. I just bring them in and I just touch up the paint and I put them back outside. I mean, because they stay pretty good. So. I haven't looked at the ones outside yet, but definitely. So, so cute, right? Three bucks for that. Um, and then this one, they're playing seesaw. A dollar. So cute. I have one of these on my window. And then I have some bird houses hanging from the tree. And I'm going to get Derek to climb up on the ladder. And I mean, he's like six, four and a half. So he doesn't have to climb that high. Like, just reach up. Like, he can get on the step stool and not have to bring that big old freaking long complicated ladder out but i wanted to hang some more bird houses from the trees because one day i was coming i was coming home and i saw the birds flying out of the little bird house i'm like oh they really live in there so i'm gonna make more i'm gonna buy more not make more okay this is a dollar this is a little mini garden furniture like Little Sally Walker. I'm hooked on Little Sally Walker. It's my ringtone by Iggy. Okay. Little stool. Look at this. Oh, oh my God, for a dollar. A wheelbarrow. All this is gonna go outside in front of my trees. I'm not sure about this. This might go in, over there. I think that's probably gonna have to go over there. Oh, it rose. We'll see. Then I got this little bee. Hive. Um, I'll put that out there also. So cute. Or I might put that in that succulent up there. I might do that. Then I bought two of these for a dollar each. You know, these are just little, little, um, they're not really wind chimes because they don't make no noise. They're just little chibi things that look super cute in the trees. I buy these every spring because by springtime, those other ones are either all broken or they're gone because <laughs> of the wind or the animals. When I hung up chicken feet, like I, uh, my daughter, she dried chicken feet and she painted them. And I made some like hanging, like a few hanging. And I hung it up on my, um, on my tree outside, you know, because chicken feet are really good for protection. So you can keep them in your car, you keep them in your house. Uh, anyway, I hung some from the outside of the tree. And it was hanging like this, right? It was hanging like this. And I had like three of them, like one here, one here, one here. And they were just hanging. And they were all black and they were really cute. One day, I came out and I was opening the blinds and I see that freaking, those chubby um, squirrels that we have, it had, jumped on the the thing 
jumped on it and was swinging like freaking Miley Cyrus. You know, the wrecking ball. I came in like a wrecking ball. Yeah, I was like, holy shit, look at that squirrel. It freaking bit the whole string off and it took my chicken foot and was gone. I was like, I can't believe I just saw that. Like, it was hanging on to a swinging. And I, all I kept thinking was like, I came in like a wrecking ball. I said, that is my list. I put a little white pamper on it. It is all the way there. I was like, holy shit. So then I didn't do nothing, right? Then the next day I came to open up the blinds and the whole thing was gone. So I can't. They, the animals that eat them. I didn't know why the squirrel was eating the chicken foot. Like I thought y'all only eat nuts and berries. Yeah. Next time I'll put one of Jay's leftover chicken wings outside. This one for a dollar. This is a little um, dragonfly. So cute. And then the last one that I got, this was $3. Oh, my hooker nail got caught in there. Okay, this was three bucks. And I bought this for $2.50. So I'm gonna hang this like that and put it in the ground. Isn't it cute? I love the little campers. I have one of these campers that is attached with a stick and I have it outside. It's like, it has a stick here and I have it in my lavender plant outside. So cute. And then I got the little, the little, um, what do you call this? A rock sidewalk for a dollar. Then I buy these every year. These are $5. They got these, I don't know if they got these at your Dollar General, but they come with all of these little fairy things. So it comes with the garden house, the bird bath, the little fairy, the arch, and the little welcome sign. Isn't that so cute? Five bucks. I, I buy these and I put these on all of the little, just everywhere. They're so cute. Then I bought this for $4. Now I buy these, I have I have one just like this by my front door where I keep with, with water and I put three camphor tablets. Um, I keep it by the front door because camphor tablets are really good for, you know, keeping your house cleansed. Um, I have uh, camphor incense also. Everybody does different things, but I like to use camphor in that way. Um, one of my other coven sisters hooked us onto that. And um, so basically, it's just putting water in here. And you don't have to have something this big. You could do a small little cup. But I have a, this exact thing over there with three tablets. And I leave it in there till the tablets have completely dissolved. Then I take it outside, I throw it outside, and then I bring it in, I wash it, and I start it all over again. The camphor tablets I get at the, um, I get, there are some that I get from the Botanica, which smell like mothballs, stange. And then I get the ones that come, um, from the Indian store and their little tablets and they smell like menthol. So I like those better. Okay. If you go to the Indian store, um, like the Indian, you know, like the dot, not the feather. <laughs> if you go to the, um, the Indian market, you will find, um, and I say that I, and I say that because growing up when people would ask me, you know, like about my race, and I said, what? Well, I'm native. I said, and they're like, native? And I'm like, yeah, like, not the dot, but the feather. So it's an inside joke. So I'm not trying to, like, offend anyone, but that's what I mean. Um, okay, so. Um, so if you go to the Indian store, and they have a section. I don't know if all Indian stores like this, but the ones that I've been to, they have a section where it's called the offering aisle. And in that aisle, you can find all of the things that you use to offer your Ganesh, my, my Ganesh there, so beautiful. My Ganesh, um, I need to clean the altar, look at it. So pretty. That's where I got my Ganesh from there. If y'all haven't seen that video, I think it's, I think I did a video showing my Ganesh. Anyway, um, they have a, a, an aisle there. You can get all the things that you give to your Ganesh, your Buddha. It's called an offering aisle and you can, there's all kinds of things there. And that's where I find the tub of the camphor tablets. I get a tub of them for like three bucks and there's so many in there. But anyway, back to my haul. So this was $4 and I get this because I used to put my candles in. So you know remember I tell y'all 
when y'all do when you're burning candles and you don't want to leave your candle burning unattended but you can still be in the house and doing things and your candle can be upstairs burning you can leave it in a container like this with with water so i always put it in a in a glass and you can also use vases so you know how you go to garage sales you go to dollar store and you see these vases well i have a lot of vases every time my husband sends me flowers they come in a vase so i always have extra laying around so i use vases also to put my glass candles so you could also use this just put this and you can put your water in there and you know put your candle in there so like that and it's heavy too so it's not like it's going to tip over it's very very heavy so i like that the last thing i got from the dollar store well no that's not the last thing i'm lying at. i'm looking at something else down here uh oh let me get it did i break it Got these I got these for five dollars um so they're made out of like a cardboard see like the kind of cardboard like what do they call this chipboard I think is what it's called so um it's a flower watering can and I bought these because I was going to I have a nail on each of my trees that I use to hang up things like for every holiday so during spring, I hang up cute little springy things. So I'm thinking about putting this outside and hanging it, but because this is made out of chipboard, it's not gonna last very long because when it rains, it's gonna tear this shit up. So um, I may still put them out there because it was only five bucks, um, or I may use them to decorate somewhere in the house. But I did buy them for outside and not inside. But aren't they super cute? Like if you were to put them up high, like we have this, we have this window that's up high. I mean, that would be cute because you don't have to water it and it looks like it's real and it looks like it's like not cheap chipboard. But you know, it's just something I'm thinking about. And then the last thing that I bought were these trash cans. I know, right? How exciting, but I needed a new trash can in the classroom and um, so in the um, in the classroom I have this purple metal one but I it's like it's so old already and there's a piece of wire that keeps poking me every time I go to dump it and I, every time I get it, it always sticks me and I'm like why do I continue to use this so to the dollar store and I saw that I'm like we gonna get this it's three gallon that's big it's bigger than the one that we have It'll actually hold a lot of stuff when we're in the classroom. So I got one for the classroom. I got one for my office because my office one is also this small and I'm starting to do some crafts. So I need, I need a bigger trash can. And then we got these. Those are three, these are all $3. Um, yeah, these are $3. I got this one for Jade's bathroom because her bathroom is brown because it's Buddha. And then I got one for my bathroom because my bathroom is, um, yeah, I don't know, like the, mine is like the um, mythology type of theme in my bedroom and there, I'm, I'm guessing. <laughs> um, but yes, we have trash cans, but you know, they have seen better days. And I'm like, why do we continue to, I just keep washing them and I'm like, I really need, a, I just finally just did it. And, um, Anyway, so um, now I'm going to get off and then I'm going to come back on and show you the stuff that I have upstairs. All right, see you in a second. Okay, that was a long reach there. Okay, um, so I'm back up here in the office. So let me just show you the things that I bought. I don't know if I showed you these two books or not, but um, if I did, I'm sorry. If I didn't, well, this would be great. Um, so I went into Sam's and I bought like my berries and stuff and they have a really good book selection. I don't know if Sam's if Costco's is like Sam's, but they have a really good book selection. Anyway, so I went in there and I bought this Elevation by Stephen King. Um, I used to have so many of Stephen King's books, but I lost my storage years ago when I got sick and I lost over 1400 books. Oh, like 
I lost many things, but the, my books were one that um, I really was upset about. Anyway, so this, I have not read this book. This book only has 120, 26 or 46, 146 pages. Very, very like, boom, you're done, right? Um, so it says here, <clears throat> from the master story uh, teller, Stephen King, who has always excelled in writing about real people, tested by unreal situations. That was by the Washington Post. It also says, comes this compelling tale about finding common ground, about people finding common ground despite differences. A magical story with a deep resonance for our time. So this might be something new that, you know, you know how Stephen King is. Um, I don't really know. I just know that this book is, um, this book is based off of a small town. And I just read the very first part where it says there's a guy here who keeps losing weight uh, without getting smaller. And the like, story of my life, my, my scale tells me I lost weight. And then I look and I'm like, somebody's lying. Either my eyes are lying or the scale is lying because I still see it. So maybe... It might be one of those, but I don't know. Like I said, I have not read this book. It's a very, very easy read because look how small it is, but I'm reading other stuff right now. The other one I got is by Sandra uh, Keynes, I believe I pronounced her name, Sea Magic, Connecting with Ocean Energy. Again, I'm not sure if I showed this or not. I know I'll put it on my Facebook, but I wasn't sure. Um, this book feels good. You know how you get some of those books and they just kind of feel like I don't know what, what kind of paper this is, but it feels so good. Uh, invoke the power of the sea and transform your life. Hmm, that sounds like fun. <laughs> this book has, um, this was this book cost me $7.98. I got it in a half price book. And this Stephen King book cost me $12 at um, Sam's. Uh, okay, so the table of contents. This has one, two three, four, five, six chapters. Um, the first chapter is The Call of the Ocean. Two is Myth, Deities, and Saints. Three is Altar, Tools, and Divination. Four is Seashells. Five is uh, totem, totem Animals and Mythical Sea Creatures. Um, Six is the moon, the meditations, and everyday life. So uh, obviously underneath each one of these um, chapters, there's a variety of things. But it, it seems to be like, you know, um, discovering the sea magic, uh, getting to know the ocean, currents and waves, um, the ninefold sea blessings, the salt of wisdom, practicing sea centering, the uh, oceanic realm of emotion, <sighs> hidden lands, working with sea deities and saints. Sorry, I have the phone like kind of propped up against something and it's on top of a deck of cards. <laughs> um, talks about how to set up a sea altar, seashells and tools, uh, practicing uh, divination, so it, it just has a lot of different spell work with, um, if you're into sea magic. There's not very many pictures in here. Um, the ninefold sea blessings. A small wave for my smile, a small wave for my voice, a small wave for my laughter, a small wave for my choice, a small wave for my sight, a small wave for my wealth, a small wave for my generosity, a small wave for my health, a small wave for my truth. Mother Ocean, I ask for nine waves of grace upon me. Um, this seems like this is a very, um, Wiccan base, can you speak, Wiccan base book, um, uh, about the sea. I'm not saying that it's not a good book. I don't, I really don't know other than looking through it right now together 
And so they, here's some information on sea deities and saints. Um, I don't own any books on the sea, so this is this is going to be nice to have this. Um, so if, if it's something that you're interested in, if the sea, if you live by the ocean or you're very into uh, sea magic, this is probably a really nice book. I've seen some great reviews, but I can't remember any of them offhand. Um, this just talks about... Um, This shows you how to set up a sea theme altar to empower your intentions, center your energy with cosmic ocean moon meditation and a conch hand madra. Release emotions with ancient practice known as the ocean beneath to attune to the ideas. Use shells uh, for divination and positive visual visualization. Select sea uh, to like totem animals. And so yeah, it's a this just has a little bit of everything uh, as far as sea magic so if you're into sea magic the cover is so pretty right anyway not bad for eight bucks i got that at half price all right so let me show you what i got at sephora it was three thousand dollars for this little bag <laughs> those of y'all who know sephora no when my husband was here um well, uh, for Christmas, he gave me a Sephora gift card. And so I had given my sister a Sephora gift card for Christmas as well. And this is something, why do I look so short? Um, it's something that we do um, whenever we go to Sephora, we always go together. So we can try on all the makeup and, you know, just spend time. And we actually go there to buy stuff, but, um, you know. So anyway, long story short, I saved my gift card that I got for Christmas until I gave her hers. So we can go together and so let me show you what i bought these three things cost me 86 dollars and 60 cents oy bay man okay so i got some this foundation walk it powder foundation was 36 dollars i got kat von d um, I love Kat Von D. Um, I like Kat Von D and I like Jeffree Star, but Kat Von D is who I'm mostly about. I don't wear a lot of makeup, but when I do, it's always Kat Von D. So here, I buy all her makeup palettes, her eye palettes, her eyeshadow palettes, whatever the hell you call them. Ooh, ooh. My, my tattoo is itchy, itchy. I gotta do the wee pat, wee pat, wee pat. Okay. So here is the front. Now, I don't know shit about no foundation. I don't wear foundation. I wear eyeshadow, eyeliner, and mascara, and some lip gloss or you know lipstick. But I don't ever buy like this. My sister uses a Kat Von D. Um, she uses this. She used to use a liquid, and then she changed to powder. And she loves it, but I don't, I've never, cause I sweat like a rhino. So, you know, I never buy this stuff because I'm like, it's gonna come right off. So here is my color. So they say, I'm like, I don't, I, I don't think so, but we'll see. This is deep 200. Okay. So they give you this little, like, I don't even know. So then I'm, my sister's like, no, you have to buy a handy dandy foundation brush. So this little handy dandy foundation brush put me back hmm, this was $12. Okay. Mm. There we go. Isn't it beautiful? I hate when I watch makeup people and they're like, like, why? I hold it still, I can't see. But look, isn't that cute? Mm-hmm. Um, now guys, I don't do makeup, so I don't know how you're supposed to put this on, to be honest. I mean, is it like painting a fence? 
you know, I'm damn near allergic to everything. You know, I just wanted to try something new, you know, because, ooh, I just wanted to try something new because I'm just doing half my face because, um, I don't know. I just wanted to. I don't know if I'm putting this on right. Ooh, my stomach don't stop that growling. Stop it. I fed you ice. Eat that. It's like, bitch, we don't want ice. We want food. Do I look more glamorous on this side than this side? I honestly can't tell. Let me see. Maybe I'm not putting it right. I don't know. My sister's like, this is how you do it. Or is it? I don't know, guys. You know, I, I'm a sweater. This is going to come right off. You know, I'm always rubbing my face. Because I'm always, like, sneezing with allergies. I looked the same and all it cost me was 40 fucking dollars <laughs> um, okay $36 and $12 I don't know guys I'll have to like you know play with it some more and see see you know, this I don't know I, I don't know I don't know how how girls do this I apparently need to watch a few videos I don't wear makeup like that. Okay. And. Okay. What else did I get? Um, I got. Okay. This mascara was $12. This is my favorite type of mascara. It's a better than sex mascara. This is the mini one. I buy the big one. Um, and I have a, a big one. A, uh, so I didn't need another one. But I went ahead and got me a little one for 12 bucks, so I can keep in my makeup bag that I'm going to keep in my purse with that, which, I mean, I don't know when I'm ever going to use it, but I love this mascara. It's like, it's, it, this mascara is so dark. Um, it says here that it gives you dramatic volume, longer lashes, and creates a, f a false lash effect. Um, I don't know about all that. I just know that it works really good. Um, normally the big one that I buy is $23, but this little one was only $12. Um, Kat Von D actually has her own mascara and it's really, really dark. I just haven't because I'm kind of like, I'm okay with this one, you know? I mean, I don't know. All right. Then I bought a lipstick for $20. Um, where is my lipstick? Hold on. Okay. So I bought this one. This one is, um, Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. So it's like liquid, liquid to matter. Anyway, I buy these. I, I love Kat Von D's lipsticks. Um, it's this one right here called Lolita. Um, Lo she has Lolita 1 and Lolita 2. Lolita 2 is a little too orange for me. So, I like more of the nude colors. This is what I have on right now. I have this one. Uh, it's one of my favorites, and I like it because it doesn't come off on your clothes, or when I go to kiss Derek, it doesn't come off. If I'm going to go eat, it doesn't come off. So, I really like it. I just put it on. You like my mirror? Isn't it pretty? I got this at, um... I got this at, um... Spencer's for five dollars. Um, this is from um, Supernatural. Yeah. Okay, so let me show y'all. My makeup bag is a Wonder Woman bag. 
Oh guys, my stomach it is talking to me. It's like, oh, feed me. Feed me. Okay. I know y'all should be like, man, she is always hungry. Ow, I know. Okay, so. Ooh, man. Ugh. All right. Huh. I have to adjust. Um, the other one that I have from Kat Von D is this one, this red one. I don't know what this one is because I can't see it. It's so small and it's like fading. Yeah, I don't know. It's red. It's my hooker red. When I want to be a trampity tramp, I wear this one. When I want to be like, I'm going to come in suck your blood, vampy vamp, I wear this one. This one's dark. I think I made a video wearing this before. Yep, it's like a really dark, dark burgundy. Mm -hmm. This one, when I want to be a hooker. This one is like red, red. And one that I have on now. So, hooker, gothic, and mother. I'll wear that. So just this one lipstick with the other things that I showed you that totaled out to $86.60. I ain't get nothing free. I'm like, y'all gonna give me something free. Yeah, the bag. You get the bag and this wool for, for I don't need all that. I'll carry my stuff. Just give me something for free. All right. So I'm going to show you that came with my gift that my sister gave me. Um, my favorite lip glosses are like this is aqua aquaphor it's just like a clear lip gloss and then my big ouija board chapstick <laughs> i can do my whole lips with one swipe look at that it's great i didn't know that i had one when i went back I'm like oh i need to get it ding dong i already had one so anyway i have those I don't really wear um, a lot of makeup, guys. It's just not my thing. All right. Oh, I got all this in here. Okay. Now, let me show you what my sister, what my sister bought. Oops. You know, actually, I got one more thing to show. My um, coven sister, Christine, who bought me the... Um, who bought me the um the stuff that i showed you downstairs well uh, another time during um valentine's day she sent me and jay these so i have a uh, a witch ball that she sent me let me see if i can show you without disrupting so i have this little witch ball she sent me this one it's like the tree of life and it has a little stand okay so she sent me this one i don't know some time ago about a year ago okay. all right so then she sent us these look how beautiful it's a witch ball but it is a heart so cute right um Heart of Glass is what this one is called. Our hand-blown hearts of glass um, ornament allows you to display the colorful symbol um, of affection in a sun-filled window. The gift is filled with love. It comes from straight from the heart. From the moment that you hang it up, it will never feel apart. We will never feel apart. Isn't that beautiful? So one for Jade and one for me. I think Jade's taking this rainbow one and I'm taking the red one. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm gonna hang them in our windows. Beautiful. I think I'm gonna hang my heart one in Derek's man cave in the window. He's gonna be like, what's happening here? I'm like, it's for our love. So like, girl, you better get this shit out of here. 
Okay, so my sister got me three of these, but I gave one to my daughter. These are um, lips, lip crayons. It says Lily. Uh, I really like this lip crayon. It's a, it's a nude one. So, it goes on. <laughs> Yeah, I really like it. it. Just gives you a little bit of shine. So I got this. Uh, she got this for me at Bath and Body. All right. Then she knows how I collect. I love to collect and use bar soaps, but like the ones that you get like from TJ Maxx and Ross. I love all types of bar soaps, but especially the ones that come from those particular stores because like they smell like pumpkin spice or blueberry or vanilla with lavender and they're packaged so beautiful so she got me this one this one is a cranberry bar soap and look at the cute little box look little frames isn't that adorable so you lift it up and oh there it is Miss America. I know the light's terrible. Mm. Smells like a big old Starburst. Cranberry. I love these soaps. And they they don't make you when you I don't know if y'all have ever tried them, but I um I use them all the time. You guys seen them at Ross, TJ Maxx, um, what's that other store? Yeah, those are the ones that I've seen them at. They don't they, they have a lot of moisture in them so like moisturizing stuff in it so you don't you, you're not all dry and itchy this one is almond which is my favorite and it's exfoliating bar with, um, with almond milk <gasps> oatmeal Let's see there it is and this one mm, this one is my favorite out of all the soaps that I get, this fragrance is my favorite. It's almond. And, you know, have you ever smelled the, uh, I think I've told you this before. Have you ever smelled the Jergens soap before? Not Jergens soap, Jergens lotion. Like the cherry vanilla um, Jergens. That's what this smells like. Mm hmm. All right, then she gave me some of this, some sea tox. It's mermaid approved. Sea salt bath soak. It's going to restore my my aching muscles and my tired ass. <laughs> That's what it says. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm, smells good. This smells like um. It smells just very clean. Kind of citrusy, you know, like imagine it smell like a little bit like, like orange and tangerine. I don't like that. Then she sent me this. This is Sleep Warm Milk and Honey Body Cream. Um, this has cinnamon essential oils. It's warming and comforting with clove essential oils. Soothes for a restful sleep. So there's like cinnamon and clove in here. Um... Let's find out, shall we? Mm. I'm about to rub this on my face and take off all my expensive ass makeup. This smells good. If you are a person that does not like heavy scented things, this would be perfect. Especially for sleep. Um, this is just very, very light. For it to have cinnamon and um and cherries, I'm hungry. Cinnamon and chives. Oh my God, help me! Cinnamon and cloves. For it to have those two things in there, it's very very light. Okay, yeah, it smells good. Now I'm going to go to sleep. No, uh, okay. Then oh my God, this will be the last thing I'll show you. Okay, then she gave me some of this um, sea tox sea mineral body polish. I said, what, what do I do with this? Body polish. Okay, directions. 
in the shower, apply this all over your skin, then rinse. So this is kind of thick, like a clay. Oh, I can feel it has like little, has little granules in there. So it's an exfoliator. That's what this body polish is. Then just say it is exfoliator. All fancy. This smells like, um, nothing. Okay. The next thing she gave me was a candle. This is carrot and, and carrot nectarine. This has a made with essential oils scented candle, white barn. This has carrot seed and sweet orange essential oils. Where's the picture? Mm, mm, mm. I've seen this one and I wanted it, uh, but I didn't get it. Mm. I don't know what carrot seeds smell like, and you guys know I'll be drinking the hell out of some carrot juice. This doesn't smell like a carrot to me. This smells like, um, like citrus. Um, like, but not a lot like citrus. Like, it has another smell to it. It smells like, you know, like, a, like an orange, but it has something else, and I guess it has to be the carrot. But I don't smell like no carrot I'll be drinking. Whatever, it still smells good. This one is uh, Aromatherapy Focus with Eucalyptus Tea. This has <sighs> Eucalyptus Oil, which clears the mind. Tea extract to help you focus. That's what's in this one. I know I'm a hot mess, right? Mm, mm, mm. This smells like eucalyptus. I don't know about no tea, but it smells like eucalyptus. Very, very nice. Okay, that's all she gave me. Oh, the last thing. I didn't show y'all. Let me put this in. I try to take all this downstairs and put it away. Look at this. She gave me some witch band-aids. Oh my goodness. Look how cute those are. So apparently they come in witches. Um, help me now. Ghost. A, um, a, I about to say Jughead like Riverdale. A jack-o'-lantern and a little um, um, spider webs. I know, right? Where's my brain? You get 50 in here and this is the actual size of the witch's hat. All that's in here are the witch's hat. They're this big. She could have just gave me this. This could have been my present all by itself. So they come like this and little, um, aren't those cute? Let's open one up. Let's make an imaginary cut. I'm not gonna like unstick it. That would be wasteful. Nobody better come to me with the cut cause you ain't get my little witch hat. Besides, what is this gonna cover? A drop of blood? Okay, let me see if I can hold it with this big hooker now. Look at that. Isn't that cute? So cute. So cute. Yeah, I go get my nails done on Wednesday. <sighs> I'm going to get all my nails uh, soaked off. They're all going to get all soaked off. And then I'm going to get a new set put on, but they're going to be short, like right above my skin short. Like, look how long my nail is. My, these are the longest I've ever had my nails. They're like freaking too long. I like long nails. I think they're very pretty, but I mean, it's so hard. So I'm gonna get my natural nail cut off too because I don't need my nails that long. So I'm gonna be right here, like literally right above my finger. I mean, I would rock my peasant nails, which is my regular nails, but um, my husband's coming home next week 
and I can't be having no little peasant nails. I need to have like my nails done a little. And I, during spring and summer, I keep my nails short because um, I'm outside planting stuff and cleaning up stuff and working in the yard and all of that great fun stuff that I look so forward to doing. Um, I do all that during spring and summer, so I can't do that with hooker nails. Can't. During fall and winter, I do more of the longer nails. So, anyway, I think that's all that I bought. I mean, I can't remember because it's been a while that I bought some stuff, but I think that's all that I bought. Yeah, I think that's it. I still need to do a video showing my crystal books, which I'll be doing. Um, hopefully, maybe, um, I don't know. Hopefully I can do it sometime this weekend. Um, or maybe I'll do it, I don't know. But I will do my crystal books. Somebody asked me if I would please show my crystal books and anything else that I use for crystals. I definitely will, I haven't forgotten. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm gonna go now so I can go get something to eat. I'm so hungry. Um, and all right guys, I hope y'all like my haul. As always, love you all and blessed be. Bye.